All right, so this is the overdub uh, for the first video I recorded uh, that explains how to play Beat the Devil. The reason I'm doing uh, an overdub is actually because I wanted to clarify that the deck wasn't uh, pre-constructed or loaded uh, in any way. The, the deck was actually pre-shuffled before the video, but there wasn't... Uh, a point in the video that you could see me shuffling the deck so I thought this was a good opportunity to just clarify that the the deck was shuffled among an, uh, a few other decks and then I randomly chose a deck uh, to use for this video uh, so that's what I w kinda wanted to say because it's really well it's highly improbable to beat the devil uh, on the first try it's it's a game uh, where you're gonna most likely lose uh, more often than not. So that was, uh, for me, when I was playing it, it was uh, very strange. And I thought it was uh, maybe uh, an opportunity to do a voiceover and kind of talk more about that. And um, I wanted to do some extra commentary over top of this as well, too, to kind of explain how the, the game works. So as if you've read the article, you'll know this is more about matching up pairs uh, among eight piles and if uh, you can use within those eight piles all of the cards in the deck you win the game if you can't use all the cards within eight piles then you've lost so right now in the game I'm sort of at the uh, a moment where I've got the last card that opens up the pair of kings there and then it gives me a pair of threes and a pair of twos to work with so I'm going to use the threes first and the twos actually give me uh, three of a kind so this is a a rare occurrence where you get three three matches and then all you do is just you play a card on top of each of the the match so you get three new cards there and this gives us a pair of nine and fours now this is also uh, interesting too because a pair of nines have already come up and now I've got to make a choice whether I w which pair I decide to uh, put cards on top of so I'm going to choose the nines because I I've I already knew that there's no other nines coming in the deck uh, but this also kind of makes you wonder, had I chosen uh, the fours, would I have won the game? <laughs> so maybe that's something to, to think about uh, for the future. So I'm going to uh, cover the nines here in just a second uh, to reveal new cards. And then it gives me the sixes to work with, which I'll then uh, cover there. And then that gives me threes uh, to cover. And then I'm saving the fours here, so now I get a pair of fives to cover, and that gives me a pair of queens uh, to work with. So I'll cover the queens, and then uh, with this I don't have any other opportunities, so I then cover the fours, and that gives me jacks, or sorry, kings and sevens to work with. And then I'm going to cover the tens, and then uh, now I just have the kings to cover with a leftover pair of sixes and so now I've got eights and sixes so I had many options to cover and uh, it leaves me with uh, the ace of spades and that was kind of another uh, weird thing too is having the ace of spades come up at the very very end uh, that was also uh, improbable um, and I thought that would be noteworthy to talk about is um, not only did I beat the devil the last card was the ace of spades so that that was a, a pretty interesting uh, thing to experience and definitely something that I wanted to talk a little bit more about in this commentary um, but also to really kind of reinforce that th this was pure coincidence uh, you know there was no uh, reconstruction of the deck to, to make this happen this was literally just picking up a deck of cards that I pre shuffled and then just went through it talking through it myself uh, during the video and uh, that's kind of how, how it ended up happening so uh, I was actually worried that I wouldn't beat the game uh, while making this video but on the first try we did uh, so so there we have it uh, if there's anything uh, more that you'd like to know check out the uh, article link uh, that goes to my website alright we're done here thanks